A two-point victory for Quinnipiac ends the losing streak. Five games, it's finally over. He's Jack Main. I'm Brian Schwartz, and this is The Rebound on Q30 Sports. Jack, it was a big one tonight. They needed to have this win. How did they get it done? They got it done on both ends of the floor, and they were stepping up in the big moments. Kevin Marfo, five blocks tonight. That was huge. They held Canisius to 25 points in the second half. That's something that head coach Baker V stressed in the press conference to us today. He said that they were really going to close out late in that game so that Canisius didn't have any quality looks going into the later half of the game. Well, how about Aaron Falzone as a closer? I mean, you talk about these games where they're close, and Quinnipiac has struggled to close out games and even to overcome some big deficits. Aaron Falzone played really well tonight. He had 16 points, including a big free throw late in the game. Now, overall, in terms of this season, you only have a few games left, a couple weeks until the MAC tournament. What does this win mean over the long stretch? Well, for Aaron Falzone, he didn't get his points the traditional way, which is his spot-up three-point shooting. Today, we saw him kind of take more of that utility role where he can drive in, kind of go in and, and force those uh, those and-one shots. He was hitting his free throws today. He hit those big free throws late. But for the rest of the team moving forward, they kind of have to step up in that big moment. Like Marfo did at the end of the game with that big block to kind of seal the deal, the time will come when all of these Bobcats have to step up and make the play that is going to close out the game. Well, Monmouth's up next. That game's on Sunday. They got to keep this rolling right now. Monmouth is a good team, Brian. We know what they are able to do. The Bobcats saw them earlier this season. So for the for this team moving forward, they have to continue to step up. They can't let this one big win get in the way of the rest of the season. They have to keep moving forward and keep looking at that mark at that MAC tournament in March. Still a ways to go. Atlantic City just a few weeks away, though. So Bobcats are ready to rock and roll now. He's Jack Main. I'm Brian Schwartz signing off. From the People's United Center, you're on Q30 Sports.